Welcome back to the new Modelist Army channel. I'm Dave and today I want to share with you a model that uh, I had on pre-order for quite a while and then it was sitting in my private warehouse while I was away waiting to be shipped. Uh, I wanted to get a few other models uh, to come in to kind of cut down on the, the shipping cost because it was uh, it's a, quite a big kit. And uh, usually I ship most of my models from HLJ via FedEx, but this time I decided to try EMS Trackable because it was almost 2,000 yen cheaper. I think it's because of the size of the box and it was almost as fast as FedEx. It was delivered by uh, USPS uh, to my door. And uh, anyway, let's take a look. And here it is. This is the kit that I've been waiting for. This is the Imperial Japanese Navy battleship Yamoto uh, in 1 450th scale. It's the limited edition from Hasegawa. Interesting building, the battleship Yamato comes from the fact that it was one of the biggest battleships ever built. Along with its sister ship, the Musashi, it had a displacement of over 70,000 tons. It had 16 inch armor plating on the belt line. It had 18 inch guns which were huge uh, for the time. I think they were some of the biggest ever built. This thing was just a monster of a battleship. Uh, didn't see that much action though. Uh, did fire these 18 inch guns at the Battle of Leyte Gulf. Uh, then when it returned to Japan, its final mission I think in 1945 was to uh, beach itself on Okinawa and act like a fortress, uh, which it really is. Uh, but it never made it that far, it was destroyed before it ever arrived. But this model I've wanted to build in a long time. I saw a lot of 1350 scale. Uh, they're really quite expensive, but this was pretty reasonable, uh, especially since it's a limited edition from Hasegawa. So it's 1450th uh, scale. It's the 70th anniversary special version. So they added a few extra little pieces in there to commemorate the end of the Pacific War uh, that was this year. So in here we get uh, two posters which I will frame later on and they are of the box art itself and like a cross section of the battleship. And then we get the, uh, the hull here, it's in two pieces. It's got some nice detail on that. And then uh, here's the main screws with the deck. You can see where all the anti-aircraft turrets are going to go. The bridge. Got a crane for the seaplanes. And then here are all the little turrets for the anti-aircraft. The 18 inch guns are uh, just one piece. That's pretty cool. And then we have a stand that you can mount the ship to. And uh, that's going to be kind of nice. We have instructions. Marking and painting. And we have some decals. And we have some stickers, uh, flags, the Imperial Japanese Navy. And then we have this, which is a uh, gold medal coin. Of course, it's not gold, but it says the end of the Pacific War, anniversary, uh, 70th year, and it has a, like an etching of the Yamato and uh, 1945 to 2015. So that will probably go onto the uh, the wooden uh, mount that I'm going to put it on eventually. So I hope you like the unboxing of the Battleship Yamato. Uh, it's going to be a great kit to build and when it's finished, it's going to look really nice on its stand and with that gold coin. And maybe I'll put the picture of the artwork uh, frame behind it. So that's going to be a really beautiful kit when it's done. It's not the only ship that I have in my collection to build. I also have this uh, Tamiya kit. This is the 1 350th scale, uh, His Majesty's ship, King George V. And this had a sister ship too, which was the Prince of Wales, which was sunk by Japanese aircraft in uh, Singapore. 
Uh, but I guess the interesting thing about this was that the King George V was in Tokyo Harbor at the signing of the surrender of Japan. So these two battleships have some sort of connection, being that they were the pride of both of the nations, both England and Japan. Um, they both had sister ships which were sunk by aircraft. And, uh, but the King George V survived to the end of the war. So anyway, this one will get built, but it's a much bigger ship uh, and it has a lot more detail. It also will receive a wooden deck and a whole bunch of photo wedge pieces. So that's in the build schedule uh, later on at some point. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. As always, thank you for watching the new Modelers Army channel.